I'm in Manchester right now, so I'm going to be passing through the end door. But before I pass through end, I thought, let me check out because I know they got a Harvey Nichols in here. So I'm going to pass through the Harvey Nichols and see exactly what they're saying. If you look across the road, I can actually see the end store right here. It looks amazing. So that's the end store over there. All about Harvey Nichols first, and then I'm going to pass through end and see what the store's saying. What's going on, bro? You good? Nice one, man. So yeah, just bumped into a follower there as you can see, so that's all good. Right, straight down there is the Harvey Nichols store. And not only that, but if you look to the left, you can see there's a Canada Goose shop. Looks like it might be opening up, so that should be happening pretty soon. See the Burberry store, that's Canada Goose. Let's go inside. Quick cut to the video because I want to tell you about a competition. Okay, now this competition is with seven stores. So let me show you what we're going to be giving away. About two months ago, we done a 500 pound competition. We gave 500 pounds in credit to one of our lucky followers for seven stores. So, but yeah, we're always doing competitions. So make sure to follow us, especially on our Facebook and on Instagram. Then we're going to be giving away a Montclair beanie hat, brand new, two other hats, one up Arcturix um, baseball cap, fluorescent Arcturix bucket hat. All you got to do, go down to the links in the description box below. It's super easy to take part. Right guys, back to the video. One thing I love about the Harvey Nichols stores is they always look nice and clean, very well presented. Okay, first thing I would say is it looks a lot smaller inside than it does look on the outside. So I hope that's just me. Oh yeah, no, nah, it is bigger. Ah, oh, cool, it is bigger as you get up. That's good. So this looks like the women's section. Really nice fits for women's, but big cheese. Look at this one here. Well, that's well nice, that is. It's the black label edition right there. What's going on, bro? You good? Yeah, nice one. Doing a store tour video, man. Take it easy. Met a follower there, so that was all good. Palm Angels. I mean, I do like Palm Angels, but some of the stuff I'm not too sure about, like this teddy bear, not too sure about that. Track suits look a bit standard. I mean, some of the pieces are really nice, but some of them are questionable. So I think when you go for Palm Angels, select one that's that stand out, man. Some of the stuff to me is can be a bit hit or miss. One thing I would say though is the quality on them is really nice. Like these hoodies here, although I don't really like the teddy bear thing, but the quality on these is really nice. Nice thick cotton, as you can tell from when you look on the inside, you can see the quality there, so that's nice. Puffer jackets there, similar to the collaboration with Montclair. So uh, yeah, that one's quite nice. But again, I'm sure price is crazy. Right, let's see what the Stone Island section's saying. Some nice colors here for AW, that's a really nice colour that is man, well nice, very very nice indeed, nice colours, what's the price, didn't look at the pricing, what's the pricing on this, pricing on this, 300, jeez man, AW pricing has gone nuts, 300, expensive, right this one looks like a garment dye that they've brought back, so this is actually an older piece that they've brought back, they might have made some tweaks to it, so these were around 800, so now they're 1,225. Now don't get me wrong, it's a lovely jacket, but it's not worth 1,225. Um, that's, that's, that's very overpriced in my opinion, but inflation, Brexit as they say. Look at the colorway on this man. Oh, this colorway is well nice, look at that colorway. And the price on that is 885. That's what the longer jacket was back in the day, look. Haven't seen this before, that's something that's a bit different. Haven't seen that, but amazing color, amazing color. I mean, colorways of Stone Island are always nice. So you've got this kind of bluey, kind of what, what would you call this, ocean blue color. Nice tracksuit pants, tracksuit cargoes. These ones are 365. Ooh. Got a review of these coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. Right, now we're in the Montclair section. First thing that stood out to me, this one, it's really stood out, it's quite nice. Pricing again, 1,070. I mean, most of these jackets now are hitting, touching the 1,000 pound plus mark. I don't like the badge on that, it's way too big. 1,300. This reminds me of the, um, the Acurus, Acurus jacket and also the Crinkle Reps from Stone Island. Price point on that, a grand. I mean, yeah, retail prices is just crazy now. Crazy, crazy. It's, it just reminds me of the Nike Windbreaker, which although I do like it, I just think it's, it's quite lazy, man. It just look, it, when I saw that, I thought it was the Nike Windbreaker. This one is 780. I mean, come on, man. This looks like the 
This looks like the Ekrins, Moncler Ekrins. I've actually got one of these on on my Paige Hoxton's wardrobe. I think it's size four and they're like near new condition, so check that out. Some more nice ones here. This one's quite nice. Oh, this one stands out, look. The Sherlin right there, that's nice. How much is that? Whee! 1,275. Moncler Tibbs. How much are these now? 675. I think they used to be 450 back in the day. Got some Helmet Lang. They look quite nice. Helmet Lang bits there. Acne Studios. I'm not going to lie, Alexander McQueen is definitely one of those brands that have been on my radar. Really been liking some of their stuff. I think especially I saw a jacket which was quite nice. Here, this one, this jacket was really nice. But you know what, I'm just picking it up. I'm a bit disappointed with the build quality on it, to be honest. It looked nice on the website, but in person, build quality is quite... Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, build quality is not there. Still a nice piece, just not worth two grand. Now, this feels quality, this feels nice, feels nice. Got the Alexander McQueen on the back. Something a little bit different from Montclair. Tracksuits seem nice as well. Don't know how people feel about these shoes anymore. People seem to have gone off them and saying they're uncomfortable. When I tried them on, I got me a pair and I tried them on. I found them really uncomfortable personally. Oh, a brand that I've been really feeling lately is uh, Ami. Ami's been doing some real nice stuff. Really love the quality of their sweaters, man. You can get this stuff on sale. Yeah, you, you do yourself some justice. I mean, look at tracksuits, nice tracksuits for holiday. And the quality, one of the best quality tracksuits and sweats I've come across. Honestly, the quality on this stuff is amazing. So if you can get this stuff on sale, you could be in for a winner because the quality is really good. This is a brand that I've really been feeling of as of late is the Represent stuff. Represent stuff is proper nice. Manchester based brand as well. So yeah, they're, they're, they're doing some good things. CP Company, a lot of people jumping over to CP Company from Stone Island because of the price points. And to be honest with you, the stuff is very, very similar anyway. So you're, you're probably getting a little bit more better value with CP Company to be fair. But I mean, these pants right here, these are really, really nice. I had these, I've done a review on these a couple of videos ago. But you can see that like, the colour, colours in these are really nice, just like the Stone Island. That Gillet is pretty nice. So yeah, man, Super Companies, it's trying, man, they're trying. Axel Arigato, got some Benjart here. Benjart trying to do their thing. Like, this is a brand that people should look out for if they don't want to spend too much cheese, it's Pyrenex. Okay, tell a lie, prices have gone up, that's 350 I swear it's cheaper than that. So yeah, Pyrenex is a good alternative though if you don't want to spend Montclair money. Um, they, they'll have some nice pieces for the, for the winter, stuff like this, which is, looks a little bit like the Maya actually. But yeah, that's quite nice and that is 495. Good to see they've got some Bell Staff in here. Bell Staff's another one as well, I've been championing. It's like the prices, that's 45 for the t-shirt. Jacket is ah 325 for the jacket, which is not too bad. Got some Axel Arigato here, nice footwear. Picked up a pair of these myself. Very comfortable. Some Valentino Rock Studs, super comfortable as well. Probably one of the most comfortable trainers I've come across. Those are pretty nice. 590. It's not, it's not small cheese, man. Not small cheese at all. 590 for those. Lots of Alexander McQueen's. Look at these ones. <laughs> Do you know what? I quite like these, you know? These are different. They kind of remind me of Yeezys a little bit. Yeah, they are different. Not sure how you guys will feel about that, but I quite like those. Don't know what I'd rock them with though. Big fan of off-white trainers myself, so stuff like this. I think it's quite nice. Got a pair myself of off-whites, very comfortable. Um, you guys are not going to agree with it, but I actually really like these. I think these are really nice. I just don't, I just don't know if they suit me or what I'd wear them with, but I've grown to like these, man. I think they're cool. So many people have been asking me for loose knuckles this season. Got the loose knuckles there. Loose knuckles. More loose knuckles. I think that's called the ballistic bomber. So that's a little bit like the chili whack. That's a little bit different. So yeah, loose knuckles has uh, got some really nice jackets. And I, I, I've done a review on these, and I, I personally think that they're better than than Canada Goose myself. But that's just my opinion. MKI. It's a brand from Leeds. Really nice. The only thing now is they've kind of copied represent a little bit with all this type of uh, design. So I don't know if they should have gone that route because it's a bit, little bit copycat, but I guess if you don't want to spend the money on represent, then you can get on MKI because it's a little bit cheaper. So 70 pounds for the hoodie. I've been looking for a nice varsity coat, man. This one looks well nice. Is there anything on the back? Oh, that's nice. Really nice. How much is that? No price on it, but I really like the look of that. 
Oh, a lot of people have been talking about this brand, Drool de Monsieur. A lot of people have been saying this is quite hot. And the price points of this are meant to be pretty decent. So, t shirts coming in at 85. I think it's still expensive. This is going to be the last year now for Canada Goose um, fur. So, if you don't get it this year, you're not going to get Canada Goose fur unless you're getting it second hand. So, pretty decent collection here. Surprised they still got the fur actually because a lot of department stores have banned the fur, like Selfridges, I think, have banned the fur. Harrods, I think, have banned the fur. So, surprised that um, Harvey Nichols are doing it. But for those who are looking for it, could be a good shout. Look, look at the tracksuits here. Got the tracksuits and the tracksuit bottoms to match. I do like some of the Amiri stuff, not all, but again, price points like £1,000 for jeans. Oh, come on. Now, Casablanca, this is a brand I've really been liking as of late. Casablanca, nice for the t-shirt. I mean, nice for the shirts and stuff. Could be a good shout. We've got some Dolce Gabbana, got some off-white over here. Like how they've done the off-white section here, it's quite nice. Got the hoodies, t-shirts. Again, off-white is can be a little bit hit or miss, so some of the stuff I like, some of the stuff I don't like. Like stuff like this, I just think, why did you come up with that? It's not very nice. Oh, I bumped into a follower earlier on as well, who actually worked here, so that was good. All right, guys, I'm signing out. So the next video you're going to see is going to be the Selfridges video, so stay tuned for that one, okay? All right, guys.